Woo, welcome back guys. So, as you can see, car's not here. So, today is the day. I am so anxious. I don't even know why. It's like dyno, compression testing, and now getting the paint. So, rolling out the car, getting it ready. You guys nervous to spray? Yeah. Hell yeah. So this is the last look. A bunch of sanding, so many hours of sanding. We are literally here the past week just sanding till like two, three in the morning. But she, hopefully a couple hours, she's gonna be gone and we'll spray. Man, my heart's racing right now. Several days later. All right guys, I couldn't get my first impression but this color is sick. If you know me, I'm all about like different OEM uh, colors like the R32 Midnight Purple and the S14 Iconic Toyota Tundra Brown. So this is an OEM color. I'm just gonna go ahead cut uh, straight to the finished product and then I'll have you guys come back and we're gonna be uh, putting the whole R34 together. But this color is sick. After hours, literally, damn, I don't even know how many hours, literally easily over a thousand hours, not even exaggerating. But what, two, three days prepping and then painting, all that. Adrian's tired, I'm tired, Julio's tired, but it was worth it because we just made it in time for H2OI. So that's gonna be another uh, couple of sick videos. We'll go live and everything. All right, now we can go ahead and cut to the finished product. Biggest thing, we're gonna have to fix this fender and push it over a little bit. What is it, that fender or the other fender? Yeah, the other fender, it's a little close as you can see how close it is. We don't wanna mess it up already, so we're just gonna bring this over in the front. Man, I'm tired already. This color, man, woo, so good. Oh. We're gonna, we're gonna roll it out, but right now we just gotta put everything together. Crunch time, I'm hungry, early morning. Literally been just getting like four or five hours of sleep every night, but it's definitely worth it. I'm so hyped on this. Gonna go ahead, put the uh, door cards on, all the interior, uh, the moldings, all that good stuff, and make it all one color again, or make it all one car again, I should say. It's like not recording, but Adrian just put the tail lights and it looks so good. Take two. He said, we're gonna put it back to primer. It's so he, weird. He, he said you don't <laughs> like the color. So. Yeah, we don't like the color. We're gonna throw it. All right, so we're gonna do the other side. Uh, door panels, door handles on. All right, nice, nice. Let's get in there. Door handles, perfect. All interior. The black does look good. What do you think, Gordon? Black? black with this black shout out to Gordon he's the man black or what just the color itself like how it accents it I would like I think it right looks good I, I would think so you can cut the Japanese sticker too I don't know if I said this earlier but one of the best things that I do like about this car was the fact that we literally did pretty much everything the door jams all the inside of the fender Pretty much everything's all color changed. Obviously not this, because you're not even gonna see this when you open the car, but literally everything color change. Same goes for the trunk as well. So all that's left is we're doing the molding. Just got off like all, some of the overspray on here. Adrian did that. And then we can go ahead and roll it outside. Look at this. Whew. Doesn't do it justice, you gotta see it in person. It is definitely a good one footer. Like you just gotta stand right here and you're like, noise. I like how it looks. Yeah. So I wanted to give you guys, I should have recorded when it was like really sunny out and then it's gonna rain tomorrow. So you can't really see the color all Wait, that well. Yeah, it's supposed to rain. What the so I'm gonna have to get like a car cover, but yeah, the video doesn't do it justice. It kind of looks orangey red, but I don't even know. It's like, this is a version 2.0 of the Dookie Kooky. So this is a, it's really called brown metallic and you can't really, you can't really see it. But we're just gonna finish putting everything back together. Front bumpers, rear bumper. All right, we got our 
own little H2OI here, I guess. But uh, we're leaving the side skirts and all the other stuff off just because it'll be easier to put on the truck and then we could just do it all up there. So it's just all the little stuff now. All right, let's roll this back in. Well, we can actually drive it back in. And then we'll put the wheels as well. Next up, gas cap check. So Sarah and Kendrick, she just got these in. She's trying to slam. Yo, we're slamming your car, right? So she's slamming her Audi all the way down. We're s frame. Not the Audi, her Volkswagen. Where is it? She's laying frame on that one. <laughs> and we're back. Look what Will's got here. Got here, special delivery. Ooh. Um, right. it. So these are the coilovers for Sarah's car, the Jetta. We ended up going with ECS ones because they were able to ship it to us much quicker than race hands were going to get it to us. So we're gonna give these a shot. Oh hopefully they're right this time. They look Bam. right. Alright, Sarah's here and I got her. I got her um putting anti seize on the coilovers because we live in New England and those will be seized in like one winter. Dang approves. No, he doesn't. He just told me they're wrong. <laughs> they're right. Don't worry. This one, I hope these coilovers are right this time, so we can actually do this and go to H two O in style. Who said they weren't right? Dang. From the jump. Dang. From the jump. Dang did. I know this was not right, yeah. but that's okay. So Will said he doesn't like the color. Oh right? no, he did. <laughs> oh yes, he did. <laughs> <laughs> So we got the rear bumper on, spoiler on, and no side skirts like we said because we're gonna wait. Yeah, we're gonna leave that like that. Just test fitted to the front bumper. Looks good, I'm not gonna lie. I'm hyped on it. With the lip too. We put the lip on finally. So we're lowering about five inches, right Kendrick? Yeah. All the way down. It's all the way down. Frame is, it, the way is it hard for this car? Or it's kind of... Oh, we're 240, I tell you. The easiest car to work on is a 240, and then you get these German things, and they're impossible to work on. <laughs> German things. Oh my gosh. No respect. We though. love our German things. <laughs> no respect. Mm -hmm. All right, so what else we got to do? Everything. Everything. Oh, we're still taking out the like stock all... suspension, mm -hmm. and then we got to slam in the the new uh, coils. Well, at least with it, it has like uh, the little buckets and everything as well, right? Everything. Like on. Uh, yeah. It's like a 350Z, kind of. All right, let's get one of the finishing last stuff. For the front bumper, got some brand new clear tails, or not clear tails, clear turn signals. And put these on. Then I still have to do the left side of this. All right, this should look good with this color combo. Let's see how it is. Woo! There we go. Perfect. Here's a quick update. We've been like working all day, so we didn't have any time to uh, record anything. Um, but front coils in, nice and hard, because it's a Volkswagen, and you know, working on 240s and Japanese cars is way easier. Um, rear coils in, or rear um, strut, and then coil spring in. So we're ready to just finish up a few things, and we're gonna lower it down and see how low we got. All right, here it is. Moment of truth. We're going to lower it down and see if we uh, got way too low or way too high or just perfect. You want to hold this? <laughs> oh no, I'm scared. I'm fucking terrified. Oh, we can lower it more. We can lower it so much more. All right. The rear, the rear is lower, yes. Oh, definitely. Before, but <laughs> we can go a little more if we wanted to. Woo! It looks good, a little bit. <laughs> good enough for H2O. Hey. All right, one of the last pieces, just putting the mirror here. Then we can go ahead and put the uh, door panel on, and that should be it for this. All interior is pretty much all in. Well, actually, except for that. We're gonna put that in as well. And then we can just go ahead and pretty much test fit the wheels. And that should be the last of it. All right, literally, last piece. You guys are probably like, why do you have a hoodie on? So we have like a deadly mosquito disease going on in South Windsor. Somebody just died today, so 
I'm not trying to get bit by no West Nile triple E mosquito. But all I have left to do is just the little add-ons for uh, the side skirts. So this is the last add-on and they go right underneath the side skirt there. But like I said, we're gonna leave the side skirt for uh, when we get over there. That way we can install it after the trailer. Man, this thing looks so sick. I'm so hyped on it. So everything pretty much is all back together. Only thing now I have left to do is just two more window pieces for right here. This is gonna get covered there. Everything's all bolted up. And oh yeah, the wheels. We're gonna do the wheels right now. Kendrick and Sarah just went out to go test drive to see how it feels. I guess hopefully no rubbing issue. She just lowered her car on coilovers. So it's literally grind time. It's like 10 hours left before we gotta leave. I'm hyped. I am so hyped. I'm hyped on the color. I hope you guys are hyped. I'm super tired. Oh man, it's literally been non-stop. But when you're motivated and you wanna get something done, you don't care what it takes. So hope you guys are on that grind as well. Stay motivated. And oh yeah, we actually gotta do these two pieces as well. I just need to figure out a way to somewhat have them hold perfectly. I don't know yet. They usually clip on, so I think I might have like a little clip on on the side. I don't know, probably double-sided tape. But also want to give a huge shout out to Julio, Adrian. Adrian literally been thousands of hours. I'm not even exaggerating. Literally, if you guys saw from the beginning, from when we first got the R34 to prepping it and everything. So the only thing I was worried about is with the motor and drifting and all that, the hood does get very hot and fiberglass isn't too well with hood, um, I mean with heat, so I'm blabbing on. But what I wanted to do was put my, I have a metal hood, but the only reason why I didn't want to run the metal hood was because of the vents. It just, it's pretty, it's OEM. So it's all flat, but I like the stylish. It goes well with the kit and everything. So I'm not too sure yet. Might do vented on the metal. I'm not too sure, that's gonna be later down in the winter time, but I think it looks sick. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys like the color. I always like different colors. Uh, OEM different colors. I'm rambling on. Let's get, let's just get this done. Everybody's hyped out here. Mounting uh, the last wheel. The boys came back. It's painted. We're gonna go H2O. Adrian's hyped. <laughs> Adrian's hyped because he doesn't have to do any more priming, sanding, priming, sanding. I was like, dude, you literally did easily over a thousand hours. Easily, from, from when we first started to now, easily. Oh, let me show you guys real quick. So, we got the wheels on. Look how close this is though. Like the fitment's not bad. I think I'm just gonna have to camber it. Just, it clears and everything. It's super tight, but uh, it was either raise it or camber it out a little bit more. So I think I might just camber it out just to be safe. That thing is right there. That is crazy. All right, we decided because the front is a little bit higher, we're just gonna raise the rear just to be sure. But hope you guys like the video. Hope you guys like the color. We're all getting hyped. Kendrick's getting hyped. Kendrick finished with the Jetta, slammed it, ready for H2O Y. We're all still out here. We're still, we still gotta do a couple more stuff. Stay tuned, be sure to subscribe because we have a lot of videos that we're gonna be uh, getting content for. Right? Hell right. yeah. Right, Riker? Stay tuned. It is still about almost 1.30 in the morning. This is what we're doing, H2OY prep. Good yeah. job, A. You gotta go tough, you know. <laughs> We got Will out here. It is 1.30 in the morning still. Uh, Still out here. H2OI prep.